Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis, this is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at how to set Cura up uh, for your 3D printer to slice with, and how to import a custom slicer profile. Um, before we get into that, because of changes coming up to the YouTube algorithm, it's going to make it much tougher for small channels like this uh, to be promoted in their news feed and in their recommended feed. If you would, please click that subscribe button. If you like what you see here and want me to keep doing these videos, it's a very easy thing you can do to help support me here. Just subscribe to the channel, uh, click like on the video, and if you would be willing, share the video somewhere on Facebook or Twitter or something. All that helps us with the YouTube algorithm and gets the page promoted, and it helps me out immensely. So, that being said, Cura 4.4, let's take a look at this. Um, after you download and install Cure 4.4, you're going to need to set it up for your printer. Now, to do that, the first thing you're going to do is tell it what type of printer you're using. So, go up here. I've already got an Ender 3 set up, but I'm going to set up an Ender 5 real quick. So, I'm going to pull down and add printer, add non-network printer, and I'm going to scroll down until I see my uh, maker, which is Creality. And click there, and they have one for the Ender 5. So, go ahead and click that. Click Add. And then it's going to bring up another dialog, and we're going to confirm these sizes. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, for the Ender 3 and Ender 5, the build plate, the X and Y, is actually 235 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. It won't hurt having it at 220, but it's going to limit the size of the build plate you see in Cura. I want it to accurately represent the true size of the build plate so I can make my own estimations on how much I want to fill it with. And this will just do that. So I'm going to make sure those are both set to 235. I'm going to make sure heated bed is turned on. And then for extruder, I want to make sure it's set to 1.75 millimeter filament. Sometimes this defaults to 2.85, and that will throw uh, your print quality off quite a bit. So just make sure that's set to 1.75. And we're going to click Next, and that will add that printer to our drop-down list. I now have an option of an Ender 3 and an Ender 5, and then this is a custom that I'd set up for testing. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is import, uh, in my case, I want to import my custom Fat Dragon Games slicer profiles. I have uh, profiles for terrain and for miniatures for different nozzle sizes. So to do that, you're going to go here under the Profile setting, pull down to Manage Profiles, now we're going to click on import. Now these profiles are linked in this video description so you'll need to download these first to your hard drive, navigate to wherever they are on your hard drive, and then select one you want to uh, import. In this case I'm going to import a 0.3 millimeter nozzle uh, profile that's made for Cura 4.4. So I'm going to click it, click open, and it tells me it was successfully open. So click OK and click close. Now when I pull down my profile list, that slicer profile is going to appear under custom profiles. So I'm going to click it. This is for a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. And if you notice here, the line width is saying 0.4. It should read 0.3. So what's wrong here? Uh, I know my profile is correct. I just exported it this morning after completing it. So what's going on here is Cura is overriding my profile settings for the nozzle that is selected in Cura currently, and that is right here. And this is a, a very common customer service issue that comes up with us. People will say they've loaded a 0.3 or a 0.2 millimeter nozzle profile, and it's still reading 0.4. And the reason for that is you still have 0.4 selected here. When you load a custom slicer profile, you need to make sure that the nozzle size here agrees with what the profile is for. So you need to select 0.3 in this case. And once I do that, that changes back to 0.3 millimeter. Okay, so if I'm using a 0.3 millimeter nozzle profile, I need to change the nozzle size here to 0.3. If I go back to my terrain, which is 0.4 millimeter, it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle terrain profile, the line width is reading is 0.3. The reason for that is Cura is overriding it because I still have 0.3 selected here. I need to go back and change that to 0.4. If you slice a model with a profile and it comes out completely wonky or you're getting massive clogs, go back and check your nozzle selection. Odds are that's where the problem is. So always make sure that whatever size nozzle your slicer profile is designed for is what you have selected here. And that's it. That's all it takes to set Cure up and to load a custom uh, slicing profile. Thanks for checking this video out. Please click that subscribe button.